Hello and welcome to this third session and uh, in our previous session just using a notepad we built a cube 3d cube and displayed it on the web screen. Now in this session we have to now make it an augmented reality application. So to make it an augmented reality application I want the cube to be played in front of our camera image. We were working with this index.html file and main.js file and coming to main.js file now the next thing is I have created this canvas with a 3D object and now I need to create a video element because I want a video to be created. So to create this video element I will come below this above this document body append child below above this I will come here and I am going to come two lines down press the tab and I am going to now declare a constant and I am going to call it as video and that constant will be equal to document and in document this is a HTML function create element okay doc this is a DOM function we are saying document period create element and in open close bracket what element it has to create in inverted comma I will add this element and the element it has to create is video and then I will come out of this and I will end it with semicolon. Now the next thing I want is this video what should be this video this video should come from where from our webcam or from the mobile camera. So for this we are going to call a function called navigator and this navigator period it is going to navigate to media devices and in media devices I will ask it to get user media. So it will navigate to the media devices in your mobile or your computer and it is going to get the user media and what is the media it is going to get in open close bracket I am going to declare this and the media it is going to get now here. So first I will add for this a condition so inside this bracket I will add open close flower bracket and inside this flower bracket I will add a condition and the condition is it can get video user media only if the camera is on or if the video is true. So if the condition I am adding is video colon it should be true and when this video is true then so I will add period then if this is true then in open close brackets I am going to call ask it to stream it. So it is going to stream. So if the video is true then it is going to stream it and now this then this is a function I will add equals greater than and in open close flower brackets inside this I will put my video property. So I will come within this open close brackets. So I will move it down. Uh, I will also move this document down here and I will also move this press a tab and move it in and here in the next line now here I am now going to add video this video dot I am going to call this SRC object O is capital means the source object will be equal to the stream that is coming from the mobile camera and then I want this video to play and one thing I have missed here is after this then this entire thing whatever is there after then should be enclosed in a open and close bracket because this entire thing this entire function is enclosed in this bracket okay and after this play also I have to add open close bracket and end it with 
semicolon. And now, just like we did with this DOM element canvas, we also want this video to be attached to our actual HTML. In this index.html, in the body, I want to attach it. So for this, I will come back here and just like the line below, that is, I will call this document parade and in document where it should get attached to body and I am going to call append child, see his capital, append child and in open close bracket, I am now going to call video. So you have to, whatever video I have declared it here, that should be added to my comp, uh, that is uh, my web page and then I will end it with semicolon. Now after this, now to test it, see the, my camera webcam is being used to show me. So now first what I have to do is, I have to disconnect this webcam from my recording and connect it to my website. Okay, my webcam is now disconnected and only mistake here is for true here. I have done a spelling mistake, true. I will correct the spelling there and after this, I will save this, I will refresh it. And when I refresh this, See, the signal is breaking and we are not seeing anything. I will right click and I will come to inspect. And in console, if you see, you have one mistake here. Document create element is not a function. And we are getting this error because in this create element, C should not be capital, I think. I will make C uh, small letter. I will save it. And now if I refresh it, okay, so now, uh, it is asking, can I use the camera? See, it is asking, means the camera is being assessed. And if I click on allow, now what's happening here? See, video is coming. The video is coming on the top and the model is at the bottom. But what I want is, I want this video, I will close this or I will make this console window smaller. See, I doesn't want this video to be above this. I want it to overlap. So for this, I have to add some styles to this video. So what I'm now going to do is I will come over here and after this video play and after this entire function, I will also add a semicolon here and I will end it. And then I will come down here and I'm going to now add style to this video. I will add video period and I'm going to call style and I'm going to set its position to be equal to in open close brackets, I'm going to set it equal to absolute and I'm going to end it with semicolon and I will save this. Now, if I refresh this, see, now what happened is the video and the model are above one another. I, there is still a little difference here, see, there is, because I have set the position of video style to absolute and similarly, I also want this component, this video I have adjusted, this renderer dot dom element is there, no? So, I will call this renderer dot uh, dom element. So, I will call this renderer dot dom element and its style. I want its style position also to be equal to in inverted comma, I want it to be equal to absolute. So both I have set it to absolute. I will end it with semicolon, save it and I will refresh it. And okay, so both are, see now both since I have set it to absolute. Now what happened is the renderer dot dot uh, element is coming to the front and the video is going to the back. Now to set both of them to the same size, now what I will do is, uh, after this renderer setting both to absolute, I will then call this video style and this time I will call this width. I want this video style width to be equal to renderer, renderer DOM element, its width. So I want this width to be equal to the width video style element width should be equal to the renderer 
dot dom element width i will copy this and in the next line i will paste it and similarly i will change this width to height in the next line so that both are of the same width and same height and after setting this i will now save this and if i refresh it now you can see my video and my screen are both are of the same size and you are not seeing the video because it is just on the back of this canvas come to this inspect here i will open this and if you come to the elements and if you see here see you have this body element and inside the body you can see the video element is there it is to the back 500 by 500 and the canvas element is also there both are placed here but i am not seeing it because of this black color so how to avoid it it is very simple what i have to now do is i have to now come to this web gl renderer i declared the renderer here constant renderer is equal to new 3 dot web gl renderer and in the parameter here i am now going to add open close flower bracket and inside this the property i will call is alpha means alpha channel colon and i will set it to true and then once i set this to true then i will save it and now if i refresh it see you can now see you are seeing me and there is a 3d object appearing in front of me so we now have an augmented reality application we have built it and how have we built it we have not used any unity or unreal just by using notepad and the browser we have made this okay now you are seeing this is working fine see you must now understand how augmented reality is working you have if you come to the element you have one video layer and this video stream is coming from where it is coming from your camera and above that i have a 3d canvas which has alpha set to true means that is transparent and that 3d canvas is rendering a 3d object okay this is fine now one thing i want is see as of now the model is stationary and if i want this model to move i can move it only through the code say for example i here have set x to 1 and instead of 1 if i set the x to 3 save it uh, that is camera position set to 3 along the x and if I refresh it see it moved to the other side see and I will set the camera set position instead of 3 if I set it to minus 2 and if I save it and if I refresh it see it moved to this side. So, I can move this only through these values however in an augmented reality application see I will take this webcam and as I move the camera this should rotate but that's not happening here and how is that achieved we are going to achieve it by what we call as tracking and how to do this tracking this we will explore it in our next session